All right, a quick update here from meteorologist Mark Molnar before my big update later this evening. I wanted to get this product out to you quickly because there is some concerning problems with some potential for some isolated flooding going on here, particularly in the Poconos, the Catskills, eastern Pennsylvania, western and northern New Jersey here, maybe parts of the western Hudson Valley here. But this area, as we head throughout the evening, this is going to start filling in. Very concerned about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain by the time this is all set and done later tonight into early Friday morning. You can see this pretty much all day from the uh, Scranton to up to Binghamton here. We've been dealing back in this area with about an inch of rain on average, but that's going to pile up even quicker. You can see some bedded showers and some thunderstorms, rumbles of thunder as well, but definitely watch this area as we head throughout the evening. We're going to get this access of heaviest precipitation really start to set up here especially in the eastern Poconos and right into the central and eastern Catskills here. So, where is this moisture plume coming from? Well, let's load the radar a little bit further south here from Mount Holly, New Jersey. And, yeah, that's a big old watch box here just south of us. Take a look what's coming up from that. We got a big old, like, cars on a train track here. See all of this moisture just... And some of these are pretty heavy, half to three quarters of an inch an hour coming out of some of these. You can see some of the reports here coming out. Let's see if it'll let's, let us click on any of these. No, it really doesn't, but there are some uh, flooding problems going on in some of these areas. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see here. Let's get off of this pencil here. There we go. Oh, those are, uh, oh, those are interesting. There we go. Creek, River Creek overflowing. See, there's some isolated reports of some flash flooding. So I do expect that to continue further north here as we get into the evening. So if you are in this area, definitely keep watch out, especially if you're in a lower lying area or a flash flood prone area. Now we head down here into the severe weather zone, the big old watch box as we call it. Let's see, it's a tornado watch for another just, just until about 9 p.m. here. So these thunderstorms quickly moving off of Virginia Beach here, so these are pretty much out to sea at this point. But look down and through here, the southeastern portion of this watch box. We do have some warnings around Elizabeth City and southwestward here towards Williamston. Uh, do watch the Outer Banks as we head after 8 and 9 p.m. here. We could be getting into a problem area right down and through here. So if we just zoom in on some of these thunderstorms, let's do that. Take a look at this. Some of these are packing a punch. Damaging wind, large hail, the main threat. Don't have any tornado warnings at the moment, but just keep a watch because sometimes these can really spin up very fast. I'll have the large update just in a couple hours this evening.